so guys we are back we are back and i want to believe my internet is very stable now so i'll be trying to add the heading back where we stopped was um the price um i was trying to add the price so right now i'll be dragging this heading like i said earlier i said the price i i can actually include the price beneath the um the product here that i can add a structure like this a single structure then i can drag this heading and drop here for the price so and i can decide to include the price beneath the product this um three slide pictures here which is what i'll be following like i said earlier so now guys um I would, I would drag this let me let me include an element from here so i want this head in the price to be housed under this section this particular section you know this section housed this column and housed this one as well which is the carousel column so i still want this particular section to house the heading which i'll be including the prices um so let me just close this like i did earlier I'll be adding an element or a widget which is the heading widget so you just drag this way then you drop beneath as you can see it's perfect now it's perfect now so um let's see what we have on the okay the price so i'll be copying this now like i said make sure you have every of your sales page elements already typed out before you start building your page so i've copied it right now so i'll be pasting it here as you can see this will be my um like a promo price um the actual price that's the normal price for the product which is like 2005 so i'll be adding another um heading element right now which would be representing the promo price but I won't be call it you can actually call it a promo price but i'll be naming mine discounts or discounted price as you see i already have everything listed out i already have everything listed out so i'll be pasting it yeah pasted this way so what's the next thing now guys the next thing is this um actual price which is which is the normal price will you will have to you would have to align it you have to center it this way you center it so this other one as well you center it so um the next thing you want to do now is to change the text color and to change the text font which is the family and how do we do that you come to this style first to edit any like i said earlier to edit any element you click on this pen the particular on the for the pen for that particular element you want to edit either it's picture either it's whatever it is video so you just click on it this way then you come to styles click on styles so to change the color you can have it right here this is the color to change the color so here this um actual price i think i would prefer not dark black but um a little bit harsh like this like this okay i think this is fair this is fair so the next thing i want to do now is to edit the typo so typo is where you change the fonts where you do the sizing and where you ch um bolding the text so it is called weight here so you can bold in it this way let me let me increase it look at can you see can you see it here that is changing so you can bold in it you can bold in it so the size you can increase the size this way so but in this case i'll be using let me see no i'll be using um let me see 40 no 40 is too much 30 i'll be using 30 30 so the fonts like i said we're using a general font which is the roboto condensed yeah roboto condensed so now this since this is the um regular price and i'm giving a promo price i would have to slash this one out 
I'll have to cross it. That we call it strike through. So how do you strike it through? So just come down here, come down to um style. I'm sorry, decorations. Then you click on line through this way. As you can see, as you can see, this is it. So that is that for that. So I'll be jumping on the discounted price now. So this I want it to stand out this price. So the first thing I want to do is to change the color. And how do I do that? You go to style again, like I did for the last one. So um I'll be changing the color to red. I want it to stand out. I'll be changing the color to red. Red this way. I don't want it to be too deep. <laughs> they call it tomato red. <laughs> we men um we guys or should I say men? we only see the normal colors but ladies can see different shades of colors from red they can see lipstick red they can see tom they can see tomato red they can see all types of red but men we see all we see is red red is red all we see is blue blue is blue no sky blue no ocean blue no <laughs> navy blue <laughs> so i'll be picking red yeah but um like this so this is where you pick the color like i said this is where you pick the color and you select the colors you want here the colors first then the shades yeah shade of the color you see the shades of red shades of red so i'll be selecting a bit whitish red this way i don't want it to be too violent <laughs> violent red <laughs> so i think this is good this is good so the next thing i want to do now is to edit the typo so i think by now we should be familiar familiar with that you click on this typo click on this pen this way so the very first thing i want to do is change the font to roboto condest roboto condest this is it here so now change the size the other one for this actual price we used 30 so this discounted price for it to be more visible than this actual price since this is the promo price we have to increase the fonts so the other one we use 30 let's use 40 for this 40 is a bit much let's see 35 i think 35 is good but let me let me do 35 first let's see what that five looks like we can come back to change it so as you can see so we are done with that we're done with that we're done with that so um as you can see the images that's the three picture slide and this price i would like to center align it it's at the top like this i want to center align it i want it to be around the middle side so how do i do that since all these things are being housed in this section this section this particular place i can see a this section so since everything is being housed the column and everything is being housed under this section so i'll click on this section this way then you you go to vertical align click on middle as you can see as you can see it jumps to the middle if i click on top it comes to the top if i click on bottom it comes down so i want it to be at the center so it looks more beautiful so guys that is that for the price let's quickly jump on the next next outline we have on the um, landing page um, f um formats or product sales page formats so but before i do that i'll be updating what i've done so far so make sure you always update your work like i said make sure your work is updated always like i said so this is the slide so the next thing is call to action call to action which is the um a very very important element in your sales or product sales page so um your call to action could be your um click here to order now or click here to order via whatsapp but in this case i'll be using click here to order now first i'm still coming to that so i already have everything typed out so all i have to do now is to just copy and paste we are nine minutes down so now um i'll have to include to um add a structure i have to add a structure by now we should all be used to adding structures so the structure now is meant for the call to action button so how do we have the call to action button here like i used to say you go to the widgets here 
you go to widgets click on this hamburger menu click on this hamburger menu where you um you'll be able to locate where the elements are as you can see elements or widgets so you can type buttons but we already have it right here on the screen so whatever it is you are looking for you type it here like i said earlier but this is buttons you just drag it make sure the, the blue line is cutting across the screen then you drop this way so the button has been dropped the next thing is to align it to be at the center it depends on your own choice but just follow what i'm doing first so maybe when you come back you can when you decide to do your own practical product sales page you can um, unleash your creativity so i'll be pasting what i copied the other time which is this click here to order now so click here to order now here now you can change the um, button size this is small this is extra small this is medium so i think i'll be going with the medium here so now we are adding an icon we are adding an icon click here to order now so for you to add an icon to this button you come down to icon you click on this icon library as you can see these dots click on it you should be able to locate the icons in the library so i'm searching for the cat icon here cats cat icon okay this is the cat icon so um we have several icons but i'll be going with this shopping cart this way insert then you click on insert so this is the icon here already added so the next thing now we want to do is um as you can see icon position this icon we can either have it before this text or after this text so let me change it to after the text so the next thing here is you can um space the text and the icon you can space it as you can see you can space it but i think 10 should be good 10 should be good 10 is good 10 is good so we are done with this section of the editing button button editing so now let's go to style this is where we do several things like the color the text color the buttons the animation and everything like that so what's the first thing we want to do here is the typography we'll deal with the text first change it to roboto condensed this way roboto condensed then the size let's see 30 then the weight which is the um, boldness i think is good for this it's good this way let me see 25 okay let's leave 25 for now so now i want to in, I, want, I want to italicize this um this text here so you come to style then italics this way i think i'll have to increase the text size let me put 30 no 30 is good 30 is good that is good that is good let me see the weight no 600 is better so that is that for that guys so that is that for that the line heights you don't really need it is for the height as you can see so if, if you have um two lines you have one up one beneath so it's just the line height so but we don't need that to cancel it just highlight it then remove it the letter spacing as you can see can see the effect there but we don't need that right now most of these things i've discussed in the previous vi video that talks about nav navigating through elementor so um so guys let's proceed let's proceed let's proceed let's proceed so the next thing now is to change this um color the button color and how do we do that you come to color here yeah? choose the color you want for it this way this way this way okay i think this is nice i think this is nice this is nice this is nice let me copy it let me copy it i think that color is nice i also like to change this my um heading background color 
let me quickly change it i think we should be familiar with how we do that now to change it you just come to this section then um you go to style background let me change it back i'll just paste the color code you know i copied the color code for this particular click here to order now the color code i used for this button i copied it let me show you how to do that I'll, to edit the button you just click on this um um pen so this is the color whatever color you choose here the code changes let me copy this first so as you just notice can you see as you ch as you change the shade of the color the codes change the codes would keep changing so let me paste the code here. so whatever it is you want to use if you like to use the color continuously just copy the code this way if you wish to use the color somewhere else copy the code so like i want to use it here now i come here this section you know the section is also in this column and this heading so i chose the background for the section so this is where we did it style click on the color then paste it this way 16 minutes down paste it that way as you can see i have the color so i think this is the color i would use as i proceed so we are still on the other button that's the call to action button so we've um, edited the background type to this color like um light purple kind of so you can edit the text color here as well let me copy this code as you can see that's the text color so i would like to speed things up a bit here now white so that is that that is that border type solid border that you, you can't see that now you can't see that now but solid border the width the width you can just select solid border this way then the width would um determine um how large you want the border to be how big you want the border to be let me impute 10 so you can see it but you are you you not really notice the border now until i select a picture here a um a color here as you can see that's the border so the width of the border is how big you want the border to be but i don't think i'll be using that for now let me cancel it let me cancel it none none so um the next thing now we want to do is box shadow if you wish to include box shadow as you can see this is the box you can see beside the box you see like something like a shadow like a shadow let me increase the blur so as you can see can you see the shadow can you see it can you see but i don't think i need shadows let me remove it for now maybe i can come back to that so now guys there's another thing we need to add to this button which is the hover effect so that whenever anybody hovers on this button whenever they hover on it it will um display a particular effect or what i call animation <laughs> it's an effect anyways so for you to be able to do that you switch to this hover tab like like this so when they hover on it something happens to this button so the very first thing you want to do is you can decide to change the text color that when they hover on it the text color should change as you can see it it's changed as you can see it it's changed so you can also decide to change the background you click on classic this way classic then color you can see when they hover on it it should be black and red as you can see but this this color looks hot so i would um be making use for the text of making use of this um no not black this other color i used here for this normal this one here i'll just be to um twisting it um how do i want to put it should i say twist it around or reverse it so just watch me come to over this way text color i like the text color to be this color as you can see then i want the background to be white i want the background to be white 
Ihr Katz sieht's. Text color. Oh, sorry, that is border. Background type. I want the background to be white. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering. So now, the next thing you want to do now is to add um a border color. A border color. A border color should be this color we used here. Border color. But this border color now, you will not notice it until you had border type solid can you see can you see let me remove this first can you see it let me let me just put two as you can see can you see the effect can you see the effect as you can see the effect so this width is how like I said, how big you want it to be, this is it. But two is okay. Two is just okay. Two is just okay. So now border radius is um is, is um how you apply curves to the edges of this button. How you apply curve. So I forgot to explain this link button. So if you have this link, this particular thing checked like this if you have it have it checked like this whatever number you impute here would take effect in these four places in the four places say you impute 10 like this as you can see 10 10 10 10 but if you turn this thing off like this whatever it is you impute it will only take effect on that particular side let's see I input 100 here as you can see it's affected so most of these things I've explained in the previous video so I don't want to make this video boring and long so let me just link it up because I want the cost to be the same thing output 5 5 is a bit small let me use 10 let's see what 20 looks like 20 is okay 20 is okay as you can see guys you can see the effect now can you see it <laughs> as simple as that easy peasy japanese just follow just follow suit follow my lead as i walk you through so let's update our work so far so we are done with the i'm um, click here to order button now so now another thing i would like to chip in is over animation that's what you want um, the button to look like whenever they're over on it apart from this effect so you can select that once once they're over on the button it should um animate in this way pause as you can see you can change it to shrink as you can see shrink this way so you just select whichever one thing you think um would um be okay for you i love to use pause grow as you can see pause grow so that will be all for buttons guys so um we'll be coming back to this particular place link we'll be coming back to add a link here we'll be coming back to add a link here we'll be coming back to add a link here but let's proceed now let's proceed now let's proceed so the next thing on this list is remember we are still going to 16 <laughs> i'll have to speed up the next thing is product description product description so the first thing we want to do is add a structure as usual a structure then a heading widget click on this hamburger menu drag in a heading widget like this heading widget align it to the middle then i think i would need this product description let me copy it i need it but let me type it at least for the first time <laughs> product description that's it product description so we would have to edit it edit it that's the styling 
um, I would like it to be red particularly this type of red let me copy the red I used here the code I just copy the code then I can you can paste whatever it is you copy you paste the style just the style the style let me copy this style here okay no let me not take you through that long process let me so um click on text color this way then you paste the code the code i copied the other time as you can see this red just jumped here now what i wanted to do that i decided to draw back was the style you used here this discounted price the style you know the um, fonts we used um is um what's it called roboto condensed everything we used under this particular heading under this text we can copy it how do we do that you highlight on this pen you right click this way then you copy you copy let me change this one back to for you to see the effect let's say that one is black so i've copied it like this i've copied it like this so i want to paste this style everything here i want to paste it here but it won't include this discounted price but the style everything i used in designing this discounted price so you just have copied you copy like this just copy then you come right here where you want to paste it you highlight on the pen right click then you click on rather than paste rather than i'm um, clicking on paste you click on paste style just watch the magic now watch as you can see guys everything has been pasted the color the fonts everything everything so maybe you didn't notice let me do that again let me change the typo back to the defaults can you see let me change the color back to the default i just want you guys to get every bit of this thing let me change the fonts let me put 50 no let me put 50 so i want to copy everything every style that i used to design this particular discounted price this um heading here i want to paste it here but it shouldn't include this text but the styles everything i used to design it i will copy i'll just do the normal copy then rather than pasting normally i won't i won't click on this paste button but i'll click on paste style so it will just paste the um the um, fonts i used the font size i used the color i used everything so paste style as you can see as you can see so that's another shortcut to quickly copy something you think you need if you think you need a particular style you just copy and paste the style so i'll be editing the font size and how do i do that typography i want to increase it you see everything has been applied size has been applied weight has been applied just like it was applied here so i want to increase the size to around say 50 45 would be good 45 would be good so product description the next thing i want to do with the product description now is to include the description of the product itself which i already have written down here or written out so i'll just copy and paste but before i copy i would have to add an element which is the text element text widget so i'll drag it and drop it under this product description i don't want to include it under another structure i could have added the structure like this but i want it housed under this section you understand i want it housed under this section i want the product description and the text the description that's the descri description in text i want it to be together with the product description everything under the same structure the same section so i just dragged and drop the text editor like that so we're almost 30 minutes down guys <laughs> so now i'll copy what i have as the description here this way i'll copy it like this i'll copy it copy ctrl c then i don't want to paste from here i would paste from i don't want to paste from here i would paste paste from here so just ctrl all 
before you paste click on paste as text this particular icon here paste as text so you don't have difficulties um editing the text later on paste as text as you can see then you paste it as you can see everything has been pasted as you can see everything has been pasted so it will make it easier for you to build a six page if you have everything written out before you begin building your six page so it will make your work faster so now it has been pasted the next thing i want to do now is to edit the style you come to style as usual where you can change the color where you can change the color i think i like the color this the one i used here the black is not really a deep black copy let me change the color like this i can paste this way that is it for the color that is it for the color then the ty um, typography where we edit the text fonts the size and every other thing so we use roboto condensed this way as usual but i think i would love to use a separate text here to make this product description more visible to people i think this one is okay this way let me use roboto not roboto condensed so i'll change this the size let's say 30 that is big is too big 25 i think 30 should be good let's board in it a bit 25 should be good i think 25 is good let's see how it looks 25 is good 25 the texts the texts the text that's the board the boldness let's leave it as 500 first let's leave it at 500 then that'll be all guys for now that's it for the product description which you could also rename as about the product so that is that for the product description guys so um i would like to add an effect to this product description so let me quickly show you how you can do that so you can just come here click on this pen first thing you want to do is you can click on this pen like this you can add a shadow text shadow like this as you can see look at the shadow blow you can see can you see do you notice it that's the text shadow let me increase it let me make it more visible this way then I want it to be red can you see the effect can you see the effect I want it to be like this yeah it's okay this way it's okay that way so that is that guys i would like to proceed now so the next thing i have here is guarantee which would come in form of a picture let me update so far so if you want to view the page is either you click on preview changes or you just widen it from here click on this icon like this as you can see the page right from the top up to the point we stopped so to go back to the editing mode click on this icon like this so you have the editing mode enabled so the next thing is guarantee do i i think i have a picture for that but if not i would quickly download the picture but before i do that you know the next thing we have to do is to add a structure for that so um now for the picture for the guarantee picture i want it to be centered I don't want it to be too big okay let me ch choose a, um, a structure so you can know what I'm trying to talk about so a structure like this then I'll add the image widgets 
you choose a structure first before you can add whatever we get you want either text image video anything so i'm adding the image we get because the guarantee i want to insert will be in form of um picture as you can see how big this colon is let me have the picture so you can know so it will be too big and it's going to give us um it's going to give us some difficulties editing it's going to give us some difficulties editing so i have it already uploaded like i told you i have some pictures already uploaded on my own website here so i click on it like this then insert media as you can see how big it is as you can see so you don't want it to look like this on your website so what you can do is you can add a structure like this then you select a structure that has either three column structure or five column structure so that you can insert the picture in the middle of the column i hope you guys get that okay i'll be selecting a three column structure now like this as you can see one two three so i want to add the picture here so that it won't be so big then i come to widgets you can actually drag this one you can drag it or you can add another widget like this picture we get let me drop it and show you guys can you see it can you see it but i'll remove it now and show you how to drag and drop so you can drag it from here like this you come on this pen you hold down on the pen then you drag your mouse to wherever you want to drop it this thing i don't know why it's not dropping okay anyways that's not a problem let's just close and so that's the way you can drag and drop let me just close it delete remove the structure so let me add its own picture i will have to add the picture again so you can always drag and drop so um now this is the picture this is the picture insert media as you can see compared to the one i did the other time that was very very big almost covering the whole front page of the website can you see this is fair enough this is fair enough if you want the picture to be smaller then you select like six column structure or five column structure rather so you can um insert the picture in the center column but this is good this way this is good this way so we are done with that section so the next thing now is let's see product video if any and if not we use picture insert by self hosting or by link so um as you know already <laughs> the next thing we want to do is adding a structure you had a single structure like this then a product video you can add that this way mm, let me ah do i have any video i think i have a video i will upload the video so you drag structure added already and elements which element do we need video elements drag the video element this way drop it here as you can see now you can either add there are three or like four ways to um host your um, videos you can either add a youtube link which you are going to include here or you had your vimeo video link or a daily motion video link or you self host this self hosting is you uploading the video on on your website and adding it to the um video we get you understand you know if you chose sorry guys if you choose this youtube like this you can just copy a youtube video probably one of your youtube videos you copy the link and paste here the video appears here but self hosting you have to upload the video you upload the video so i'm self hosting so right now i'll click on this choose video let me see if i have any video in my library i don't think i have any which video is this which one is this no they are not useful <laughs> upload video upload file then you click on select files 
I already showed you guys how to upload files so I think I have some videos here let me see I think I have a video here mm. Okay, I think I found the video. I think I found it. This is the video here. Yeah. So you click on whatever video you want to upload, then you open wherever it is you have the video saved. Just navigate through your um, computer and add the video. So I'm clicking on this video, then you click on open. The video would be uploaded to your um, website server where you can add it to the page you are building so it's uploading right now it's uploading i hope it's not going to take much time So guys, we are back. It's uploaded now. So you click on Insert Media this way. Insert Media. As you can see, as you can see, guys, <laughs> the video has been uploaded. Let me play. Let me decrease the volume so it doesn't make noise. As you can see. that's it that's the video so the video has been added now you can um, you can do um, some little editing here on the video you can do some little editing like autoplay if you want it to autoplay whenever I mean anybody loads your page whenever they land on your page but I won't advise you to do that just leave the auto players off you can on it like this yes but leave the auto players off you can leave it as off so the mute button as well you can decide to in fact if you turn the auto play off the mute button is gone <laughs> you understand let me see okay play on mobile so you can decide to turn it off and turn the mute button off too if you don't want the video to make any sounds so you can you understand you can just enable the yeah, mute button or you disable it it depends on your choice so but this autoplay is very important make sure it's not autoplaying because some people might be might be watching it in their office maybe they just load your products page and the something starts making noise so let them click the play button themselves so turn the autoplay off this way so this loop means if the video finishes playing it restarts again but leave the loop out if it finishes playing the viewer can decide to replay it you understand so just leave it out so play control you can decide to all these play controls you can decide to remove them this way you understand or include them but it's good also if you want to enable the video to be downloadable you can toggle on it like this so once you toggle on it if anybody lands on your product sales page they can click on this button to download it but if you toggle it off this way it won't be enabled as you can see so we'll be leaving the settings this way we'll be leaving the settings this way so there are so many other things you can do from style that's to change the aspect ratio but i won't be touching that let me just leave it everything fits well like this so that is that for the video overlay that is that for the video we don't even need to do anything <laughs> too much so the next thing we have here is we are 44 minutes down the next thing we have is another call to action and this time it says cta's call to actions so it has to be two i'll be including two 
you know like i said i'm building this product sales page um to suit my own taste so whatever it is you want or you have in your mind to build just make sure you master this first then you can begin to be creative <laughs> so i'll be including two buttons which is one for um click here to order now and the other one for click here to order via whatsapp as you see so how do i do that so um, instead of me creating buttons again i can decide to copy this one this one i did i can copy it you know i i said we can always copy you can copy it this way copy have it on your clipboard then add the structure like this then you can paste it here paste can you see can you see it can you see it's been pasted so i want to repeat this button again to tell them to place another so it's like after every vital point you remind them to place another after every vital point you remind them to place another so we are adding two buttons here click here to order now button and click here to order via whatsapp so what i'll be doing now is instead of me creating another button from the scratch for the whatsapp button i will duplicate this duplicate like this then i can start editing okay let me just leave this as click here to order now let me edit this particular one for whatsapp so to edit you know how to do that but if not just follow me click on this click on this button like this so you can see as i copied the button to paste here everything has been included the border radius the um text font the text style everything has been included rather than me just creating a structure adding a button and beginning to um what's it called to edit the button to do the animation everything so that is the benefit of copying and pasting some of the elements you have used before so now i want to change this button to click here to order via whatsapp so how do i do that you click on this pen then you come to text click here to order I just put via whatsapp this way this way this way then i'll be coming back to add the link i'll be coming back to add the link i'll be coming back to add the link so the size let's just leave everything the only thing we have to change is the icon now so you change the icon to whatsapp just click on the icon library from here click on this icon library then type whatsapp so you have to type of whatsapp icon you see the um i can say the bold one and the light one but i'll be making use of this light one click on it insert this way as you can see so now another vital thing i want us to do here is let's change this color to um our normal whatsapp color which is green so how do we do that we do that from style 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 color let's change this color to green i think this green is better this one is better we can actually ch change the shades here whatever shade we want we can make it deep let me see yeah well, i think this is good I think this is good I think this is good but let me make it a bit light so it's just about your creativity guys how creative are you as you can see this is good this way so this animation you see as i hover on it it changes back to this color so i would have to still change this over color as well i'll change this over color so let me copy this i'll be needing this color code let me copy it then let me go to hover hover when they hover on it this text should change to green the background should remain white this border radius the border radius the width should change to green so the text should change to green let me paste it here then background should remain white then the border color should be green let me paste the color code look at it guys but another thing i don't want it to pulse grow like this the hover animation i don't want it to as it's um pulsing and growing like this just like this one i don't want it so i want to change it so i can differentiate or they can my 
website visitors can differentiate both buttons so i'll just come to over animation this way pause grow i can tell it to just um let me see pause no i don't want pause let me see um i just want it to pop up just to grow is there anything like ordinary grow let me see this is good this one is dancing this one is good i think this is good this way we are 50 minutes down we are 50 minutes down guys so another thing we want to do now is let me see the product key features this way add the structure then drag alignments like this um, heading elements drop it heading elements so i would love to make use of this design i use here like i described earlier just copy like this click on this pen and copy it then you paste don't paste the normal pasting you see if you do the normal pasting it will it will just duplicate it like this but i want to paste the style here yeah. let me remove this just paste the style so i can make use of that you can see then what do i have to do now is just to change this text to key features or product features let me say product features features this way so now let me see these are the features let me copy them let me copy them out this way so i'll have to add an element which is the text editor element text editor i'll place it beneath these product features then i'll paste what i copied here i'll paste it here can you see as you can see it's i've pasted it oh uh, let me remove it first click on let me copy again copy then before you paste remember to always click on paste as text this way then you paste it you paste it so what next do we do we um do we want to do what next do we want to do is to edit the style of this text so in order for us not to go through the stress of styling fonts everything we can just copy the style we used here this style everything we used here but it won't include the text just the styles the color the font type the boldness everything so copy first come on this i've repeated this almost more than 20 times now so come on this pen click on it copy like this then click on this pen like this paste style as you can see as you can see but in this case i would like us to let me see i would like us to align this thing to the middle i would like us to align it to the middle like this as you can see as you can see guys as you can see it has been aligned to the middle it's okay so these are the product features let me make some corrections here splash proof high quality material large capacity these are the features with the benefits remember features alone don't sell benefits sales so it can easily accommodate the items needed for business travel for two days this is a benefit accommodates computers under 18 inches this is a benefit rather than saying um it has big space it's this year now this is the this is a feature large capacity what is large capacity used for it can accommodate computer under 18 inches so that's it all this <laughs> will be treated under the copywriting um copywriting video tutorial so any of you i don't know maybe 
if you guys purchased the video or if it comes with this package then you can enjoy it and if not make sure you get that video so that is that on features and benefits so let them read through the features let them see the benefits of what they want to buy why they want to buy the product so that is that guys so far let's update you click on this update button so far click on the update button click on the update i've decided to make this video explanatory like this because i don't want you guys to miss anything i don't want you guys to miss any step of this video so just take your time to watch it and follow the steps then you can later try it out on your own you can use this method to build your own sales page as you practice you get better and better and better with it so the next thing now guys is um product picture again we can decide to include the product picture so um this is it drag an element drag um select the structure like this we can say mm, okay it says single column with picture double column with pictures so how do we do that single column with pictures then double column with picture let's say we've added a structure like this then come up here click on inner section drag inner section this way paste it like this then let me see if i can add another inner section i'm having this network issue again i don't like this updates i would have to refresh again so everything can come back to normal let me just refresh so everything can come back to normal 